Sherlock93, most of your advices on programming are like polar opposite of advices given by people like you're in a stress strip. He pushes for the, using the STL and the new C++ features, but you are like going the opposite direction. Do you have any comment on that? Yes. Uh, I guess like everyone should make their own decision about stuff. So, you know, if you're curious about it, you should try to undertake some investigation to see what you believe is a good thing to do, right? Um, but... I think Bjorn Strasser has no idea what he's doing. Uh, and I've said that many times before. I think that's kind of self-evident because he's never shipped a production program of any kind that I know of at all. Like, he's never done a performance-critical product of any kind. Like, I literally can't think of a single thing that Bjorn Strasser has done that was, like, industrial strength engineering. So, as far as I know, like, all he knows is just, like, fluffy, like, I don't know, I made some language stuff and I have some abstract principles that I've never actually tested in practice, and off I go, you know, pushing all of these things that I actually don't have any evidence or any good, right? Um, and I think that's where a lot of the C++ <clears throat> people come from. They're not hardcore software people who actually have to ship code. Um, they're, in, like... C++, the people who do the design of C++ are actually much closer to just abstract language design people most of the time. Um, that, that's less true nowadays. Like, there's more people piled on C++ now who actually have experience. But for, say, the first two decades or so of C++'s evolution, it was almost exclusively, uh, it was almost exclusively people who, had, who just had no experience. And in fact... Uh, I've seen stories before of like uh, people who actually did have experience, you know, like uh, Kernigan and Ritchie and stuff like that, who actually told Strewstrip, he's like, I don't think this, these don't look good. Like this, like a lot of these C++ things look, look dumb. And he like would get mad at them and ask them not to talk about that because he was afraid it would make it so that people wouldn't adopt C++ and stuff like this. Like that's, I've, I've seen that like talked about before. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I think of Bjorn Strasserp as basically just like, you know, someone who had an agenda to push, who doesn't really know programming, and, you know, we all paid the price for it, but I, I, I don't, like, I wouldn't give any weight to what he says. There are people who are serious about object-oriented programming. There are people who are serious about the theory of object-oriented programming. There are people who are serious about the theories of generic programming. Uh, and they all have things to say. Like, there, there's a lot of people out there who study computation, language design, and these sorts of things who aren't inexperienced or aren't bad at their job. So I don't want to, like, throw them under the bus at all. It's a very good idea to go read about various programming languages and different people's theories on them and that sort of stuff because there's a lot of information out there. But Strustrup is, like, one of the worst people. He really just has no idea what he's doing. And that's been true forever. Uh, and I... I can't stress strongly enough that if you don't want to take my word for that, go actually try to look at his history of the things he's proposed and ask yourself what that track record looks like and see for yourself how useful the things that he has proposed traditionally, how useful they have ended up being uh, in terms of actually being able to ship quality software uh, in a timely fashion. I feel like really any ind independent investigation of that can only really come out one way. Um, any open-minded one. And that's, again, even if you're somebody, I feel like, who's, even if you're somebody who's, who ends up pro-object-oriented, you know, even if you're Alan Kay or something like this, none of them respect C++ at all. Nobody, even people who are very far away from me on the scale of, like, how you think a program should work, none of them think Strewstrip had any idea what he was doing either. There's a very small, like, cross-section of people as clueless as Strustrup who think he had some idea of what he was doing, but pretty much nobody else does as far as I know. Neither people on my side who are like much more pragmatic about what they're doing, nor ivory tower sort of people. Like nobody thinks C++ is a good pure language of any kind either. So it's, it's like there's this really narrow band of people who don't want to think of themselves as language theorists but also have never written a serious production program and so can fall in this narrow gap where they think that stuff like, you know, the stuff in C++ was like well-designed or something.
And yes, if I if Brutus Thrust was was fired like day one, he would be like the first person to go on a programming team. In the boat, it, it, where you had people in the boat, he'd be like number one out the boat, right? When the when the water starts coming, it's like Strustrup, you're up, take a take a swim, my friend, swim it. Like you already got water wings on. That's how I I, I picture you as a dude with like little water wings in the shallow end of the pool. So just like get out the boat and float it, my friend. <laughs>